Riders coming. On a hot day in the Arizona desert, horseback strangers ride into an old west town. They tie up their mounts. Then spurs jingle as boots clomp on the wooden sidewalk as the strangers head for the saloon. Push through the swinging doors. How about a cold round, you guys? Pull up a seat at the big bar and order up a cold one. Looks like a scene out of the 1800s or maybe some Western movie. But this is real life in the 21st century. Just another fun day at Tombstone Monument Ranch. The only bar in the middle of the desert for miles. <laughs> this most unique member of the Dude Ranchers Association is laid out to look just like a town out of the Old West. But behind the doors of what appears to be the mining office, Miss Kitty's Bordello, or Doc Holliday's dentist chair, are state-of-the-art rooms decorated in an 1880s flair. We live in the newspaper. Jürgen von Wolf and his wife Karen were here from Germany on a springtime visit to the ranch, their seventh in just five years, with plans for two more trips by the end of the year. It's the people, it's the scenery, it's the uh, surroundings, it's the horses, it's the, the personnel. A lot of people ask us, isn't that boring coming over to the same place? And I say, no, because we like horseback riding. We like the area, we like to go out, and that's it, we love it. The couple have been to a dozen dude ranches over the years, but this place is like no other. Coming out here is something for my wife and me to come back home. The horseback riding is what keeps them coming back on trails that explore some 30,000 acres of pristine Arizona desert. Whether it's a gentle walking ride, or my favorite, those fast lopes offered for experienced riders, most every horseback trek begins with a ride down Main Street, past the authentic looking buildings and the family friendly Trapman Saloon. The Old West ambiance is really cool. The ranch is built on the site of the historic Trapman Ranch, which once included the stagecoach stop, where history tells us Doc Holliday boarded the stage when he left Tombstone for good. Oh, anyway, there's a lot of history right here around this ranch. When you're walking around, you'll feel it. And it's just like walking the streets of Tombstone. That famous town is just two miles away. We'll take you for a visit in just a bit. But even closer stands the namesake of Tombstone Monument Ranch, the 25-foot tall stone monument to Tombstone founder, Ed Shefflin. The Apaches ruled this country when the prospector came here looking for gold. Friends warned all he'd find in the desert would be his own tombstone. And he came close one day when he hid out from an Apache war party in some rocks where that monument now stands which you can visit on a trail ride. But when Shefflin discovered the silver strike that made him rich, he had the last laugh, naming his new town Tombstone, which would prove to be a fitting name. Here lies George Johnson, hanged by mistake, 1882. He was right, we was wrong, but we strung him up and now he's gone.